The twelfth installment in Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events, titled The Penultimate Peril, continues the saga of the Baudelaire children. This book is part of a 13-book series and seamlessly picks up where the previous one left off. In the opening scenes, the Baudelaire siblings find themselves in the back seat of Kit Snicket's taxi. Kit, a stranger to the children, reveals that she used to work with their now-deceased parents. She is visibly distressed and drives them to the Hotel de Numa for their first mission with the VFD. The hotel, designed like a colossal library, features rooms organized according to the Dewey Decimal System. The Baudelaire's are assigned to serve and assist the hotel guests. Kit leaves them with concierge uniforms for disguise and instructs them to signal her from the sky if their Thursday meeting is cancelled. She also warns them to be cautious of the hotel managers, identical twins named Frank and Ernest. Frank is a volunteer and virtuous, while Ernest is a villain. The children's undercover mission involves identifying VFD collaborators among the hotel guests, discovering the true identity of JS, and locating the crucial artifact, the Sugar Bowl. The mentioned Thursday meeting is a gathering of all VFD members, and the Baudelaire's must ensure the hotel's safety before the event. If the hotel is compromised, they are to signal Kit to avoid any surprises. The children are cautioned about the indistinguishable Denouement brothers and the importance of maintaining their secret identities to evade enemies like Count Olaf. During their first day at the hotel, the Baudelaire's observe numerous villains, including characters from previous books in the series, adding to the intrigue and suspense of their mission. The Baudelaire children meticulously document their observations, attempting to discern allies from foes as they carry out peculiar tasks assigned by the hotel managers. They grapple with the ambiguity of whether these errands serve the VFD's interests or benefit their adversaries. Tasks such as coating the rooftop in sticky bird substance and securing a vernacularly fastening door in the laundry room occupy their time. To their surprise, the Baudelaire's unearth a hidden third hotel manager, Dewey de Numa, revealing that the seemingly identical twins are, in fact, triplets. Dewey has diligently compiled VFDs information on villains and intends to present it at the upcoming trial, the focal point of Thursday's meeting. The situation takes a perilous turn when Count Olaf materializes, brandishing a harpoon gun and coercing Dewey for the code to unlock the vernacularly fastened door, where he believes the sugar bowl is concealed. In their attempt to thwart Count Olaf and rescue Dewey, a misfire of Olaf's harpoon gun results in Dewey's fatal injury. The Baudelaire's find themselves accused of murder the next morning brought to trial in the lobby by the Denouma twins. Blindfolded to uphold the principle of justice being blind, the children struggle to articulate their side of the story. Violet begins with the tragic events at Briny Beach, only to realize that the supposed judge, Justice Strauss, is none other than the man with a beard but no hair, one of Olaf's henchmen. Accused of contempt of court, the Baudelaire's unveil the deception by removing their blindfolds, halting the trial. Count Olaf kidnaps the false judge, intending to use her as leverage to unlock the vernacularly fastened door. In an unexpected turn, the Baudelaire's decide to aid Count Olaf's escape, anticipating that he won't find the sugar bowl. They set the Hotel de Numa ablaze, signaling the VFD that the venue is compromised. As the novel concludes, the Baudelaire children find themselves adrift in a boat alongside Count Olaf, navigating uncertain waters. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.